The Gigapress is Tesla's superpower. The reason Tesla is the super brand that it is. These Gigapresses are massive, ginormous beasts. In fact, they are so large they would easily swallow your apartment whole and still have room. Crazy, right? These guys weigh over 400 tons and measure 20 meters by 7.5 meters by 6 meters. That is 66 feet by 25 feet by 20 feet. These guys are huge. So huge that transporting them requires the use of over 20 flatbed trucks. The company behind the Gigapress is Idra, an Italian manufacturing group. Idra and Tesla have apparently been working together for a while now, as Tesla has multiple orders with the company, some of which haven't been fulfilled just yet. Now, with the way the machine is named, it's easy to think that it was Musk who christened the machine. You know, Gigafactory, Gigapress. However, that's not the case. It was actually Idra that gave the machine its name. Away from naming things to making things, primarily Tesla uses the Gigapress to create car chassis in single pieces. Of course, this significantly cuts down on the amount of work needed to make one car, since Tesla now only has to deal with assembling three parts instead of bolting and welding over a hundred parts together, like the automotive industry has been doing for donkey years now. Alright, so if you were wondering what a Gigapress is, it's actually a die casting machine, but an astronomically large one, obviously. However, at the heart of this gargantuan machine, it still functions as a regular die casting machine. So there's a plunger, and this plunger pushes hot molten metal into a reusable mold. Pretty simple MO, just like every other die casting machine. The only difference between a Gigapress and a regular die casting machine is the scale at which a Gigapress operates. Simply put, it is unimaginably massive. Now, there are different stages involved in the making of a car chassis using the Gigapress. The first step is the preparation step, during which soybean oil is sprayed into the mold. This step is taken so that the finished chassis can be easily removed from the mold once it is formed. Without this step, the robot wouldn't be able to take out the chassis and the mold won't be reusable. After the preparation step has been carried out, it's time to melt the metals used to make the chassis. Now, for Tesla, the metals used to make the chassis are aluminum and silicone. So in other words, Tesla's chassis are actually made of an alloy. Anyway, the melting point for the aluminum silicone alloy is somewhere around 850 degrees Celsius. Once the alloy is melted, it is pushed into the mold using the plunger until the alloy cools to a temperature of 400 degrees Celsius. Once the alloy is cooled in the mold, it is then taken out by a robot and dipped in a pool of water, so it can cool further to a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. The final step in the making of the chassis is the inspection step. After the chassis is cooled a second time, it is removed from the pool of water and then inspected for rough edges and defects all of which will be corrected if present. With the chassis now made, the robots take over once again and drill all the required holes at the required spots on the chassis. And just like that, we're ready to assemble. But here's the best part. All the process is up to when the chassis is removed from the Gigapress is not up to two minutes. Expectedly, owning and maintaining a Gigapress requires a hefty investment not to mention the huge amount of space needed to install the machine. So, for Tesla to have gone ahead with the investment, it must have seen good reason to. And there are obviously good reasons for Tesla to invest in a Gigapress. These guys have literally become Tesla's magic wand. There are many benefits of the Gigapress to Tesla's automaking endeavors, but the most obvious one is lightning speed. Gigapresses might be large, but they are not slow at all. They work super fast. In fact, so fast that they can transform molten alloy into a chassis in less than 100 seconds. There's simply nothing for it in the entire industry. And so, by virtue of owning these beasts, Tesla is the fastest automaker on the planet, period. In fact, JP Morgan did a calculation to estimate how many cars Tesla can actually make in a year with its Gigapresses. The company projected that if one Tesla Gigafactory has 10 Gigapresses up and running and works with a 4-5 to five minute cycle, that factory should be able to produce 350,000 Model Y chassis every year. In fact, this number is only this decent because a Model Y chassis can only be made using two Gigapresses. 
If the machines work closer to specification, they can produce even more. And based on JP Morgan's numbers, a new Gigafactory should be able to produce 100,000 car units in its first year alone. 100,000 car units. That's simply unheard of. Now, don't forget Tesla's target. 750,000 by the end of the year and 50% more by 2022. With Gigafactories operating at full scale in various locations including Fremont, Austin, Shanghai and Berlin, 750,000 cars by the end of the year does not seem so far-fetched. In fact, Tesla might be well on its way to producing more than a million electric cars this year alone, thanks to these large, powerful Gigapresses. But besides speed, there's one other advantage of the Gigapresses for Tesla, which is efficiency. Tesla gets to drive operational costs really low and save a huge amount of money, even though it initially has to sink a considerable amount into getting the machines in the first place. But this is a machine that more than pays for itself. For instance, by installing just one Gigapress, Tesla would no longer require the services of 300 robots, as there isn't much lifting or coupling to do anymore. This was mentioned by Musk himself, who everyone knows is a huge fan of robot-powered production processes. And coming from him, that's definitely saying something. That said, another way the Gigapress saves Tesla money is by cutting down on the amount of space needed in the Gigafactory. It might not seem likely, but the math has been done and the installation of Gigapresses actually reduces body shop size by 30%. Plus, since Tesla no longer has to make a hundred different parts in several different locations before moving them to a specific location to assemble them, Tesla gets to save money on that end too thanks to its army of Gigapresses. Now you know how Tesla gets to build its car so fast. We hope you found the process as incredible as we did. If you did, then let us know by leaving a like on the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.